Well, party people, I am back, and I have a full story for all of you about my living situation, how I was living in hotels, and how I was pretty much homeless uh, this for the past month. So as you all know, I've been living in Thailand for about a year, and every three months living in Thailand, I'd always go back to see my dog, Paddywhack. Paddywhack stays with my aunt in Arizona. She has other dogs, and she also has Patty's brothers there, so I figured it's the best place for my dog while I'm out traveling. And in 2020, I made plans to come back to USA indefinitely to stay with my dog until she passed away. The problem is that that time came a lot faster than I thought. So about at the end of July, my aunt told me that my dog is not feeling well. And my aunt, she always downplays everything. Like, oh, she's okay. No, 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 she was not okay. And then she was actually really sick. And um, if the, the deal was that if I left Thailand this time, to go back to see my dog, the government told me, they're saying, well, if you leave, you cannot come back to Thailand, at least for six months and, or until we say so because of the whole coronavirus thing. But guys, to be honest, Paddywhack is like my family. So I said, you know, I don't care. If she's not feeling good, and this might be the last time I'll ever see her, I have to go back to see her. So I did. So I take a flight from Thailand to Arizona, and I stay with my dog, and yeah, man, she was she was out of shape. She was she was almost like a vegetable, and she she was responsive to me. She, she saw me, she licked me and stuff, but uh, I can tell she was just not the same dog uh, as she was when I saw her in December. So after about six days of me living there, seeing how she was in her living situation, I can tell that she was just in pain. She had kidney failure, heart failure, and it, it was just at the point where I was just being selfish. I'm saying, well, if I don't put her down, I'm just being selfish because I don't want, you know, I don't want her to go, you know? So I made the hard decision of putting her down. It was probably the hardest thing I've ever done, and it still affects me to this day, to be honest. Okay, so moving forward. I decided to leave Arizona to go to California to see my other family. Now, one big pro about being a YouTuber is that we can live in any state that we want. We can travel and work from home. And California is the most highest tax state. I wanna say, like, yeah, it's in the nation. So California has the highest tax rates in the nation. So for example, let's say you make $1 million. Well, California wants around 25% of that money. And then the federal government, they want around 30 to 35% of that money. So Living in California, the tax rate is just insane. So I figured to myself, you know, I don't need to stay here no more because there's nothing left for me here at this point. So I decided to pack up and I left to Nevada. So as of right now, I am living in Las Vegas. One of the main reasons why I'm living in Las Vegas is the housing is a lot cheaper. The houses are beautiful and there is zero income tax. California, for those guys who you live there, I feel really sorry for you all, but the tax rate there can be anywhere between 10% to 25% depending on your income. So to save money in the long term, I felt that getting a residence in Las Vegas would be one of the best situations or best ideas for me and my future. So now I'm finally settled in and I can't go to Thailand. So I kind of have like a long distance relationship right now with my girlfriend because I can't go back there and I'm making videos in Las Vegas. So I'll be continuing to make videos in Las Vegas. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And when I was in California, I was running out hotels. I was I was in hotels for about 20 days. And I was looking for apartments and I'm kind of like, why do I need to stay here? You know, I don't need to be in California. I mean, I get taxed so much just for living here and like for what, you know? So, so guys, I, I appreciate you all for, you know, asking me where I've been in my Facebook group or also on my Instagram, just saying, hey, Daryl, where you've been at? You haven't been posting videos, are you okay? I am fine. I've just been very busy, you know? Right now, again, I was looking for a house. I think I'm purchasing the house on Wednesday, so I'll keep you guys updated on that house. Maybe I can show you guys a picture of it. L let me finalize the deal first, and then I'll, I'll then I'll, I'll I'll celebrate. So, again, guys, thanks for um, you know just the messages. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. You'll see some videos coming from my channel. I'll see you guys in just a bit.